let us take another three days 26th april 27th april on 26th april we paid salaries to the employees and on 26th april only the shop rent was paid salaries again a nominal expenditure an expenditure need to debit that rent again an expenditure we need to debit that so ultimately the entry will become salary account debit rupees 5000 rent account debit rupees 2000 against what cash cash is a real account as per rule cash account will be credited because real account says we need to debit whatever is coming in the business and we need to credit whatever is going out of the business in this particular transaction cash is going out in the form of salaries or rent so total cash whatever is going out on 26th of april is 7000 5000 for salaries 2000 for rent ultimately 7000 is going out so cash will be credited with rupees 7000 and narration will be being salaries and rent paid april 27 rent of house paid and interest paid by bank now see there is a difference between the rent which was paid on 26th and the rent which was paid on 27th can you observe the difference क्या डिफरेंस समझ में आता है 26 तारीख को जो रेंट दिया वो हमने दिया अपनी दुकान का शॉप का तो वो हो जाता है हमारा बिजनेस एक्सपेंडिचर और 27 तारीख को जो हमने रेंट दिया वो रेंट था हाउस का यानी हमारे घर का जिस घर में वो पर्सन रहता है जिसने बिजनेस शुरू किया अब क्योंकि घर में वो पर्सन खुद रहता है उसमें उसका बिजनेस तो आने से रहा बिजनेस तो रहने से रहा राम एंड कंपनी किसी घर में कैसे रह सकती है वो शॉप बंद करके तो रह नहीं सकती सो so, राम एंड कंपनी क्योंकि उस घर में नहीं रहती है जिस घर का किराया राम एंड कंपनी ने दिया है तो इसका मतलब ये किराया राम का अपना पर्सनल एक्सपेंडिचर है यहाँ पे ये किराया जो हम हाउस के लिए दे रहे हैं वो क्या बन जाता है ड्रॉइंग्स That is why there is a difference between the rent which was paid on 26th of April and the rent which was paid on 27th of April. So the rent which was paid on 27th of April will be treated as drawings, and drawings being a personal expenditure. Rules for personal expenditure states: debit the receiver, credit the giver. The person who is taking the cash out of the business is receiving that cash. So drawings will be debited and cash because we are paying cash for the house rent cash being a real account rule for real account states debit what comes in credit what goes out cash is going out of the business so cash will be credited ultimately the entry will be drawings account debit to cash account with amount rupees 1500 narration will be being rent of the house paid again on 27th of april इंटरेस्ट वॉज पेड बाय बैंक अब बैंक ने हमें इंटरेस्ट दिया क्योंकि हमारा बैंक के पास कुछ बैलेंस पड़ा था अब क्योंकि बैंक हमें इंटरेस्ट दे रहा है तो वो इंटरेस्ट हो जाता है हमारी इनकम एंड रूल फॉर नॉमिनल अकाउंट स्टेट वी नीड टू डेबिट ऑल एक्सपेंडिचर एंड लॉसेज एंड क्रेडिट ऑल इनकम एंड गेन हेयर द इंटरेस्ट बींग अवर इनकम विल बी क्रेडिटेड एंड हु इज पेइंग यू द इंटरेस्ट द बैंक सो एज पर रूल the journal entry will be bank account debit to interest received account amount is rupees 500 narration will be being interest paid by bank